What's up everybody? The Equipped YouTube here. And today I'm gonna be um telling you some uh secrets and tricks about the Xbox One. Alright. Now uh it's it's gonna be really cool guys. They're they're gonna be useful in your everyday installing or anything like that. You know, super easy. Now the number one spot takes place into uh, your installation speed. It's it's very slow. Like it's it's super slow at times. It's just like a door towards the bigger AAA games and everything like that. So literally, all you need to do is just unplug your Wi-Fi when you have a disk in, and then it'll go up a lot faster. Now, the number two spot. You know, Microsoft are so generous and, um, you know, amazing that they will actually, um, give us free games every month. This has been around since Xbox 360, but it's only with Xbox Live Gold memberships. I know the games may not be the best, but hey, who doesn't like a free game? Like... You can, you, like, there's this one game, I think it was Dirt, um, on Xbox 360. I love that game, and it was free for, like, a month. And so, like, that's one of the examples. It was a really old game at the time, but, like, still, it was super fun. Like, you can get games like that every freaking month. They may be old, but they're still pretty good. Yeah. All right. Next one. Now, the number three spot takes the Sony being amazing and very nice and letting us rearrange our freaking buttons, guys. No, 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 it's freaking lit, okay? Like, let's say you're playing, like, Call of Duty. No, not Call of Duty. That You can change your control. No, oh, fuck. Uh, let's say you're playing, like, I don't know, some game that doesn't let you remap your controls that you bought. And you're like, I don't really like these controls, they don't feel right, they don't feel nice. Well, Xbox has a, um, like, way to remap your buttons. It's super cool, and I love it. Uh, personally, myself, I don't remap them, but it's still pretty cool. It's super useful. If you're ever playing a game that you don't like and stuff, and y yeah. Alright, fourth one! Now, what takes on the number four spot is that you can literally play any games you want on different Xboxes. It's just insane. So basically how this works is that if you have an Xbox One that has a certain game and it's downloaded let's say not on disc right so basically the other uh if you have your account on the other xbox one you could actually like it's really cool you could actually just uh play that game as long as you can download it and everything it's really cool like it's, it's super helpful in the everyday of life, and like, it's, it's literally amazing. Alright, now number five. Now, finally, for the last one, you can continue your Xbox 360 games onto your Xbox One. It's kind of like the last one, but literally different consoles. It's am it's amazing. It's it's like it's just amazing. Uh, it's called backwards compatible. I did some research on it. It's really cool. And I actually tried this once myself. It works. But like if you if you have Xbox 360 problems, then you're gonna have Xbox One problems on backwards compatibility. Just you know a uh, little warning. So that, like, because I can't really 
play him, I have to play him on my second account because I have, uh, you know, whatever. All right, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that, but um, basically you can, you know, transfer them from your Xbox 60 to Xbox One. It's really cool. Check it out. Um, that concludes the video for today, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed. Now, peace out.